And now that we know what Miss Universe will win, let's see which five girls are still in the running. May I have the card, please, Mr. Schechter? Thank you, sir. On this card are the names of the five contestants who have received the highest total scores from our judges in the personal interview, the swimsuit, and the evening gown competition. As a result, they will be our five finalists. As I call each name, you will see a figure on your television screen. That is the total score received by the contestants since she became a semi-finalist. But one thing I would point out to you, the point total is not necessarily a sign of who our eventual winner will be. Being first now is no guarantee of being first at the time of the judge's final ballot. Now, our five finalists. Good luck, girls. The first finalist is Miss Sweden. <laughs> Now let's welcome Miss USA. Number three is Miss Philippines. Our fourth finalist is Miss Scotland. The last name on the list of five finalists is Miss New Zealand. Here they are, the five finalists for the title of Miss Universe 1980. Now I am going to ask each of our finalists here a question, which you will select from this bowl that Summer Bartholomew has. And incidentally, from the beginning of the pageant, each girl has been advised that should she become a finalist, she could use an interpreter at this stage of our show, but these girls all speak English well enough, I think we're going to get along just fine. Miss Sweden, will you begin? Choose a question from this bowl, and I shall read it to you. Your question is... Miss Universe visits many different countries all over the world. If you were chosen as Miss Universe, which country would you most like to see for the first time and why? I think I would like to go to Australia. That's a country that's very far from Sweden and I read a lot about Australia and it seemed to be very nice culture and very nice nature. And then speak English so it's easy to communicate with them. Thank you, Miss Sweden. Now, Miss Philippines, would you choose your question? <laughs> Miss Philippines, if you could meet anyone in the world, whom would you select and why? Um, I have no one in particular, but I would want to meet somebody who's involved in politics or in ruling or running a government, let's say a nation, whether it's small or big. I would like to meet him and get to talk to him. Thank you, Miss Philippines. Miss New Zealand, would you select a question? Your question is, what would you say to a friend who asked your advice about entering the Miss Universe pageant? I would say it would be a great opportunity if you could go in it because you have the chance to meet so many girls from so many different nations. You have the chance to become friendly with them, learn a lot about these girls, and also you represent your country, and that's the most important thing. Thank you, Miss New Zealand. Miss Scotland, you're next. Your question is... In what way are you different now than when you first entered the Miss Universe pageant in Scotland? Well, I'm a, mu a much richer person for having gained so many friends that I have met amongst the girls here, and they've been absolutely fabulous. They've been like sisters to me, and I've, I really feel it's been a fantastic experience for me to do that. Thank you, Miss Scotland. Miss USA, the last question is yours, and the last question is... What would you tell someone who asked you why you wanted to be Miss Universe? 
Well, I'm from a small town in South Carolina, and being on a student's budget, I didn't have much, chan much chance to travel. My father was in the Air Force and did most of his traveling before I was born. And I'd love to see the world and, and all the people and the cultures that, that are included in it. And I think without the opportunity to be in the Miss Universe, I would have never been able to see the many countries that are opening up to me now. Thank you, Miss USA, and thank you, finalists.